Hey everyone, welcome to this new Let's Play of Trying. I hope you enjoy it, it's my first commentary. So, let's start, I'll be playing on medium. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a kingdom was prospering. But peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But something was about to happen that would change the course of history. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. So Trine is a really good game. You play as one of three characters, the, the thief, the warrior and the mage. Each one was, has a different gameplay mechanic and it makes the game really interesting as you see later. The gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. I got it. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. So, the mage is an interesting character, as you can see. He can levitate objects and he can create them later also. Which makes it really powerful for solving puzzles. Uh, the, the thief, as you saw before, has a grappling hook, which allows it to, to grapple onto things, obvious. You, play with a, you can play with a gamepad or a mouse and keyboard. Uh, use the WASD and the mouse to play and I don't know the gamepad because I play with the mouse and the keyboard uh, Also in this let's play I'm gonna try to grab most of the chests and experience jars, vials as you can see I'm not the best player <laughs> as you can tell by this gameplay and I miss a couple of jars in this, in this. As you can see now, I'm able to create objects by drawing a square, as it says on the on the on the preview here on the Vegas. And this mechanic, the game looks beautiful. The game, the game is very beautiful. And you can see the mechanics of the game, the physics are also very very tight, as you can see. Grabbing, as you can see, I'm grabbing. In this first episode, you won't see any combat. 
because it's just the intro where you get to meet all the all the three characters. Characters, sorry. The wizard saw a glimmering light coming from the shrine. No one had been able to visit it for centuries because of the ancient magic protecting whatever lay inside. Darling, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding on to? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant, but this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. So, as you can see, I missed that one there, uh, the, the top one and the uh, one uh, below the, the thing, because I, for, I totally didn't notice, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, live commenting, I'm doing post commenting and I didn't notice this the first time. And the warrior kind of provides a com comedic escape here with his voice, with his funny voice. coming from the age old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the knight's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. What's going on? The knight joined in, taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. Thank you for watching guys, this is my first commentary ever, I was kinda nervous, so I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for more.